Medieval is a game strongly influenced by old school shooter Heretic. Now I've never played Heretic, although it's something I've been meaning to play, I do know it's built on the Doom engine, with a few additions to its gameplay. So we can compare a medieval to doom. Although the main difference in a medieval is you play as a maniacal boat on a mission to destroy all evil. Alright, so let's take a look at a medieval. The game is a first person shooter that uses magic weapons instead of guns, which is definitely an interesting take on the genre, but it amounts to the same thing. The game is clearly old school inspired as it thrusts you directly into the game. I also found it pretty cool, the game had what essentially felt like an old school manual built inside the menus. You can navigate the menus to find out more information about the story, the weapons, and the abilities in the game. So you can read what you find interesting, and then go right into the gameplay. Your first goal upon entering the game is to find a portal for what difficulty you want to play through. I picked the hard difficulty, but sadly missed that there was a hidden path for an even harder evil mode. Yes, that means even the difficulty selection screen in this game has a secret. The levels unlock in stages, and while there isn't that many stages to pick from, you can still play them in different orders. You start every level with just your axe, and you need to find weapons again for each stage, and each stage consists of about 4 maps with a boss at the end of the level. Though I later found out that starting the level with just your axe was a special mode called Warrior Mode, which by default was turned on for me. However, also by default, the Soul Mode was turned off. Though I think Automatic Soul Mode seems to be how the game was originally intended to play, where you max out your soul powers, you use your weapon's special ability immediately instead of being able to choose to when you use it. And I wish I didn't miss out on this setting, I feel like it would have made the game a little bit more challenging. I'm also glad it defaulted to Warrior Mode being on, it makes it more interesting when you have to start with only your axe at the start of each level. This forces you to go out and explore more so you can find more mana and weapons. And while the level design does seem like it's interesting, it's definitely not perfect. At first when I was exploring the levels, I thought it was going to be tough without an in-game map, and I may need to draw out my own. However, after playing a little bit longer, I realized all the paths eventually loop back around. You may find the silver key, and then it'll loop you right back to where that silver key door was that you couldn't pass earlier. This ends up making the levels feel much more linear than they should be. But you do have to look around in certain areas in greater detail, and there's spots where you can get stuck. There was really nothing that was too difficult to figure out, and everything was always right where you expected to be. This is in complete contrast to the level design of Doom. Doom created open levels with almost like a maze that so was hard to get around, while a medieval is all linear paths disguised as being open. For me this made for a mediocre level design, it was just interesting enough to keep moving on though. The levels themselves do look great however, each level has a different design including a variety of enemies tailored to each level's aesthetic. This is really well done in such an old style of graphics, it's actually quite beautiful. The game even lets you admire levels by allowing you to plow right through all the enemies without offering any challenge. And as I mentioned earlier, as you go through the game, you gain soul power, which you can use as a temporary power-up for your weapons, and this will eat through bosses. For example, the first boss fight kind of went like this. And trust me, with the exception of the last boss and maybe one other, every boss fight in the game kind of looked exactly like this. The later levels do start to add some challenge to it, they ramp it up slowly throughout the game, but there isn't anything to really frustrate you. Something about the game, however, just kept drawing me to it and before I knew it, I had beaten the game. That wasn't because it was short either, the game took me about 9-10 to 10 hours to complete, which is standard for this genre. As the game absorbed me into its environs and monsters, I ripped through all the enemies and I had fun doing it with a variety of weapons. And just like in Doom, you'll go through your entire arsenal to exploit enemy weaknesses and conserve mana, and you'll use all of them, except for this stupid trident. This trident fucking blows. The rest of the weapons are really fun to play with though, especially the mace. You use it to shoot everything off into infinite space. It's the only way to do it, really. The variety in the gameplay isn't much, but once you get to the end, it feels like just enough. A Medieval was done well, and it's worth checking out, especially if you like Doom-style games. It was published by a company called New Blood, which seems to be churning out all types of old-school-style shooters. They also published a game called Dusk, which I got in a combo pack with a Medieval that also looks like a ton of fun, and I look forward to playing that as well. They definitely seem like a company to watch and follow, and if they can improve on releases such as a Medieval, they may have some really great gems. But for now, a Medieval stands alone as a great game. I plan to revisit it in the future, play it on Evil Difficulty, with Soul Mode and Warrior Mode turned on. I feel this is the way the developers truly meant the game to be played. Alright, thank you for watching my review, I hope you liked it, and if you did I do have other reviews on my channel and there will be more coming in the future.